Hello sunshines, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about hair growth. We are about to get our hair long and healthy and beautiful for those who want to achieve that. I have some amazing tips that I want to share with you guys and I think will be a challenge for myself and for you guys. So please join this journey with me. That's my dryer. Multitasking here. Something in the oven, child is napping, and doing laundry. And now I'm filming a video. I came up with this whole idea of doing this video because I received a comment on Instagram. Um, someone asked if I feel like I've reached my hair length limit. And at first I was like, what, my hair length limit? But then I thought about it and I don't think I have. Healthy hair grows, and I know that. And a lot of people that don't know about curly hair or don't really think realistically like I do, don't really keep in mind shrinkage and my hair has grown it's just that I cut my hair so often and that's one thing that you guys don't get to see because I don't want to do a video on it because you guys are gonna be like do a video on cutting your hair and I don't feel like I can teach you guys how to do that yet because I haven't mastered it and I do trim my hair myself once in a while I do go to the salon I haven't been to the salon since that old video where you guys saw I dyed my hair got a little bit of low lights and now they are removed because I went back to dark hair anyway it's not about that today is about hair growth I know my hair can get super long because when I was 13 I mean all my life my hair has been long being in this Dominican family that I have um, long hair was something that they they really value um, and as crazy as it may seem now now that I look back on it, it's like it's hair like why is it a big deal to have long hair but it was a big deal and my hair was always long my mom's hair was always long and our, my the longest my hair has ever been that I can remember is up to the top of my booty now that my curly hair is healthy and you guys have seen the journey of my hair, um, the recovery process of when my hair was damaged to cutting it off to now being healthy, um, all of that is on here on my channel and now my goal is to have long hair again. I am challenging you guys and I'm challenging myself so that you guys can join me on this challenge because I know many of you want to grow out your hair and maybe don't know how and it's a goal of yours just like it is for me. My hair is long. So no one, even myself, I don't often see the true length of my hair because with curly hair, you have shrinkage. It's a natural part of curly hair, so you have to keep the shrinkage in mind. So if I actually want my hair to look like it's long all the way up to my ribs while curly, then I would practically have to grow it up to my butt. And I don't know if that's possible. But I have here this whole process that I'm going to show you guys to grow your hair and it's it's gonna work number one I'm gonna go on six months without trimming or cutting my hair at all which is gonna be very hard for me because one thing you guys don't see is that I trim my hair quite often to get that volume that you guys see that I have because I have lots of layers in my hair that I do myself I don't trim the bottom that often but I do trim the top, but I need to be able to let it all grow without trimming it in order to actually see the growth. So I have created two DIY oils, oils, oils. One is for a treatment purpose of growing your hair and the other is for moisturization. It's a multi-purpose oil used on your hair and your body. And I know it looks scary because it's green and it has this funky looking color but it smells good it's amazing it's organic it's the purest of the purest and your hair will soak it up and drink it and eat it like it's never had food or water before and that is why this will work Starting off with the oil treatment, which I'll be using weekly on a scalp massage to stimulate growth before cleansing my hair every single week. And I'll be using tons of beneficial oils that are organic and will help your hair be stronger and longer with less breakage. You'll need a total of three bottles, but the most important is the color applicator bottle for measuring and applying the oil easier on your scalp. And of course, I'll be starting with my favorite oil of all time, which is coconut oil, because it has endless benefits from the inside out. It's the perfect oil for inner health and beauty. 
Coconut oil naturally solidifies in cool temperatures and softens in room temperature or warm temperatures. And coconut oil does not need to be refrigerated due to its super long natural shelf life. So I keep mine out in room temperature for easy everyday use in my kitchen and my bathroom. Lastly, I don't do hot oil treatments because heating up the oils with heat instead of natural room temperature you can kill some of the raw nutrients in these oils which is why it's important to buy organic unrefined and raw oils to obtain the most out of these benefits and i rather not kill any of the benefits all right here we go we're adding about one and a half ounces of coconut oil and then going ahead with avocado oil and adding two and a half ounces of that the measurements don't have to be exact you can do whatever you want depending on your bottle. I'm then following up with the amazing almond oil, which is also amazing just like avocado oil. And it's just one ounce of this, add more or less to your liking. Honestly, you can do without the olive oil, but I'm adding half an ounce, but my next batch will have more almond oil and avocado instead of olive oil. Castor oil is very important in this mix, so make sure you add half an ounce or more, especially if you have thick curly hair. For this first batch, I'm adding half an ounce, but the next one will definitely have one or more. Jojoba oil is definitely my second most favorite oil because it's never too heavy and prevents acne for me. I've been using jojoba for over six years and I never go without it. I'm also adding argan oil, but since argan oil always comes in small sizes or pump bottles, I'm only adding about 30 pumps total. And I'm also adding about 5 droppers of horsetail extract because I notice a lot of hair growth products in the market have this ingredient, so this is definitely a must for me. Now rosemary essential oil, which is amazing for scalp stimulation and blood circulation. So I'm adding about two spoonfuls of this, but feel free to add more if you like. For the same purpose, I also love adding peppermint essential oil, which I also love adding to all of my favorite conditioners, shampoos, and stylers for scalp circulation and refreshing my scalp after a workout. So I love adding this to my water as well. Not my drinking water, my hair water to refresh my hair the next day. Now make sure to give this a good shake to mix it well and you've got yourself seven full ounces of amazing organic hair food that you made yourself to heal and strengthen your hair weekly. Now to use the oil, you simply use it once a week before going into the shower to wash your hair. I start by saturating every section of my scalp and rubbing it in with my fingers, not your nails, your fingers, until the entire scalp is covered in this oil. I also make sure to give extra attention to the back side of my head and the bottom because it's my problematic area, which is where I experience most breakage and shorter hair from the rest of my head. And make sure to massage your scalp for at least 10 minutes before washing your hair. Now I cover medium sections of hair and saturate it as well with the oil all the way to the tips and I start finger detangling. This is optional, but I most of the time just finger detangle in the shower with conditioner, but this is an option for some of you if you want to. I then cleanse with a deep cleanser like my Dr. Bronner's Rose Cleanser or a hair growth duo like these two here. Now the hair and body oil is going to be similar minus a few ingredients because I'm using this to style and moisturize my ends in order to prevent breakage. I forgot to press record on this part, but I added about two and a half ounces of coconut oil and two ounces of avocado oil. And now I'm adding two ounces of almond oil, which could be more or less because I'm eyeing this out right now without actually measuring. And I'm giving you measurements because I know you'll want them, but they don't have to be accurate. I added about three ounces of jojoba oil and now I'm adding 50 pumps of argan oil as well. And don't worry, these exact measurements will be in my blog post and in the description box below. And now I'm adding about five droppers of rosehip oil which is known to even skin tone, help scarring and discoloration. Also adding two ounces of olive oil for extra hydration, which will benefit both our hair and our body. And you can finish this off with any essential oil scent of your choice, but I'm using lavender today because it's very calming and soothing and I just love the scent of lavender. I used 30 drops, but feel free to add more because this is a heavy oil, so adding more will only enhance the scent and the soothing effect. 
And now just make sure to give your oil a good shake to mix. It'll look clumpy because of the coconut oil, but after it settles, it should look like this. This oil is perfect for moisturizing your skin after a nice bath or a shower at night, and everyone can enjoy it and benefit from it, even guys. I also use this oil to remove my waterproof eyeliner and mascara and it works wonderfully every time. Lastly, I like to restyle and refresh my hair with filtered water in a spray bottle but I always add rosemary or peppermint and any other essential oil of your choice to refresh in my hair and stimulate growth and I like to use this prior to restyling my hair the next day. Remember, this will not happen overnight. If it's worth having, it's worth working for. And if we don't focus on just the hair growth and work, focus on health, our time and this process will go by much quicker because we're not actually sitting in front of the mirror looking at our hair every day like, why isn't it growing, why isn't it growing? And it's just causing us to be more impatient. And healthy hair is what grows. So our time and our process while doing this will just go by so much quicker without any worries and you it'll seem like it was just yesterday when you started this process instead of sitting there every day like oh, I want my hair to grow when is it gonna grow it's not growing yet I'm so impatient and I want it to grow right now be realistic remember that hair grows approximately one inch to one and a half inch every two months so two months from now if you're sitting there for two months looking at your hair it's gonna seem like it's actually six when just saying it two months is actually not a long time but it may feel like a long time because you're not paying attention to the right things we're going to be using the hashtag alba long hair challenge on instagram on all social medias facebook twitter all of them um so we can continue to share our pictures start this journey together challenge each other and keep each other motivated no matter where you're at if you have short hair long hair we want to see your process and let's do this for six months see where we're at and then continue it possibly for a year but i didn't want to make it a year because we don't know where we're going to be and we all have different expectations to what our hair will do and our hair will be all different hope that makes sense and i hope this video helps all of you i cannot wait to start this challenge and i hope you guys keep up with me in the comments keep up with me on instagram i'm just so excited enough talking i cannot wait and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye, sunshine. Oh, oh. Oh, oh.